if we take this skin off the Paracesis, you will notice I am still using the Paracesis. I'm getting a lot of people telling me, you shouldn't be using this, it sucks, it's a horrible weapon, put it away. Well, why is it a horrible weapon? The war is one of the better big swords. So, uh, uh, let's try the other one so we can actually see a war. Um, it has a little bit more damage, less crit, the same attack speed. A little bit more status. Okay, I'll give it to you. It's not one of the best. Uh, if you go to things like the Galatine, I'm assuming you're talking the same kind of thing. Uh, that's really a two-handed Nakana, that doesn't really count. But oh look, it's better than that in pretty much every single way. Um, trying to remember how to spell the Gram. Uh, yeah, let's not go there. The Gram Prime. Okay, now we're talking. Much better damage-wise. Much better heavy attack wise, slam wise, crit wise, slower attack speed. Oh, that's a bit of a shame actually. Galatine, uh, junk in comparison. Galatine Prime, however, that I would be tempted on swapping it to, and it does, wow, 60 nearly extra damage. It's based around the same kind of thing, but it's got slightly more status with a little bit less crit chance, but it has a higher attack speed, meaning that. All of these numbers are much bigger anyway. Okay, now I can kind of see why people keep telling me this. I could see it to begin with, but uh, there are many weapons that have way more damage. I mean, I could go and use... Uh, yeah, that's just straight up worse. I used that for absolutely ages. That has way more damage, slower attack speed, but it does have that alternate uh, fire mode that throws out the disc of death. Could go back to using the Sigma and Octantis. That is way worse, but you can throw it, which makes it much more useful. Big heavy axe. More damage, less crit, a little bit more crit chance. The fact that I said less crit for this isn't really that good. Now then, where are you, you silly little hammer? If I was going to put it away for anything, I would probably do it for the Cyanoid Helio Call. Because it has more damage. A lot more damage. A lot more status. Less crit. Actually, a ton less crit. But more attack speed. Compared to its normal counterpart, which is... More crit. Way less status. But still, way more damage. There are lots of other variations of weapons that you can build that are just so much better. We go down to, well, the ones named Zor were for, uh, let's not go near those, shall we? They don't serve a purpose. They were there for something that is no longer a thing. There's more damage, more crit chance, slower attack speed. Way slower, actually. What was I thinking using those all the time? But they still do way more damage. So, why am I still using the Paracesis? Well, this comes down to one simple thing. Uh, actually, a few simple things. If we click upgrade and go in, oh, it has a 60% damage to sentience. And it resets the sentient damage resistance, meaning you don't have to swap to your operator to blast them to knock off their damage resistance. You just hit them with a sword. You'd almost think there was some kind of event recently orientated around the sentience that made me put this thing on and leave it on. I've actually had it on since update 27 dropped and keep putting it back on because the sentience are about to become a big, big part of the game and just in case they run some kind of event, I just left it on because it's really good against the sentient resistance. Oh, and let's not forget we have Umbral Frost over here that I don't know why I don't have him equipped. That's better. Who has three Umbra former on that do the same thing? You have a resistance with these mods in for the damage that they do. So, yeah, as I mentioned a long time ago, Umbral Frost with the Paracesis mean that sentience, they will do less damage using these mods 
and oh yes I can deal more damage because of that added bonus there yes it was a pain in the butt to get this but it's worth having especially if you have the Umbra Forma putting them on the frame so you can fit all of those uh, reason I'm not showing the build for this is because to be fair it doesn't really have Umbra Forma in but you do have to form it five times well, six times in this case for some reason not really sure why I did that really don't know why I did that but that's just weird it doesn't need an Umbra Forma in this thing to make it good it's the added bonus damage that's already on it oh yeah plus let's not forget the fact that you needed to have it equipped to find out that shattering this crystal with it which is why it's been equipped since update 27 landed and they kind of snuck that one in there you needed to have it equipped to get the error quest if you didn't have it equipped and you sh you could not shatter that crystal you could not obtain this quest so yeah I kind of left it equipped once they did that, just in case they do the same kind of thing in the future, because the new war is not actually here yet. When it arrives, to survive, you're going to want these mods in your frame. The ability to reset the sentinel damage with a melee weapon is going to be a huge advantage, as well as the extra 60% damage to sentinels. Sentience, sorry. That is the entire existence of the Paracesis is for when the new war comes you have a weapon that works against them. Ballas gives you this for that exact reason. So because I keep running Umbral Frost as I keep calling him, yeah, I will leave the Paracesis equipped to him because sentients do not stand a chance with these two combined. Right there, the Umbral Frost and the Paracesis probably the best combination for taking on the sentient though I do wish that I had a ribbon for it I was actually offered one and turned it down but I do wish I had a ribbon for it to make it even stronger than it is now no it is not the best weapon to be using throughout the game I admit that one never tried to say that it is but if uh, digital extremes decide to sneak something in sentient based like they have done in the past and did with the error quest I'm also ready for that. And when the new war drops, uh, if the new war drops, also ready for that. Anything sentient based, bring it. I'm all set up. Well, not right now. I haven't put the mods back on the Paracesis, but I'm all set up to just jump straight into whatever they throw at us sentient based. That is why I still run the Paracesis. Not because it does more damage, just because it's a sentient killer. So, we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.